Next we will see a brief circuit. So that you can see it in terms of electronic circuits and know how one of these switching power supplies is formed. I will show you as an example a TNY264. Here we have a TNY264. As you can see, we have several components that form this area of the power supply. We have a negative and a positive. This comes from the capacitors. From here we activate the source drain switch, we flow down to the transformer and on the other side the current with reduced voltage is created. It is rectified again because remember that here we have alternating current. We will now talk about how the direct current is created again and also about this very important detail in switching power supplies about the possibility they have to regulate the power that enters the transformer to be able to deliver only the power that is used in the output. Let's see it. 